DraftKings contributor, Kenny Juicy, and host of the Four Seasons podcast for Ball is Life, Ryan Mogjosh. Guys, let's get your favorite plays from the following price ranges on tonight's NBA slate, a.k.a. NBA price check. All right, the 9K plus range. Kenny, Russell Westbrook is the most expensive guy on here at 11K. Are you paying up for him? Yeah, you know, I, I'm not. Uh, I, I think maybe in some lineups, I've been the biggest proponent of playing Russ lately, but I'm not because... Uh, first of all, I like that game a lot, but I'm not because I have my eyes on someone else. And it's Trey Young in a pace up game here. Now, we know that the Hawks are a slow paced team, but ironically, over the last 10 games, who's had more pace than the Indiana Pacers? No one. They've been the number one in the league. Uh, I really like this spot. He only had 26 minutes last night. They were sa- saving him uh, here for the for the second night of a back to back. So I think he should have more value uh, that might, you know, uh, maybe scare people off. But again, a usage rate through the roof for Trey Young of 40. Um, I could easily see him hitting 6x here. Uh, he, I think he has 60, 65 DKFP upside just with the amount of the ball he gets. And also, uh, I'm a big narrative guy tonight with the home stretch of the season. The Hawks are fighting for positioning there in the East. They can, there's still upward mobility for them. Uh, with the Knicks losing last night, they can still manage to climb the standings and get something out of these last six or so games. So I, I actually really like this in a pace up spot for the Hawks. All right, Trey Young going to cost you 9,400. Ryan, where are you going for that 9K plus range? Kenny's all over it. I love the matchup, Atlanta versus Indiana. Uh, since he went Trey Young, I'm going to say the other stud in that game, Sabonis at 10,400. I don't know what the Pacers are doing. I don't know what they're playing for. Uh, lately, it's been the Sabonis show. The last three games, Sabonis has 75, 74, and 49 fantasy points. Um, they're not playing any defense. They're scoring 152 points, giving up 154 points. So this is going to be an absolute track meet. I love the Atlanta versus Indiana game. And also, Brogdon is questionable. He did not play yesterday. So keep an eye on that, too. But that's even more the reason why I like Sabonis. 